everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and also a haul video from some yard sales that we went to yesterday and today. I'm going to start with the unboxing first. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you all had a nice Thanksgiving. And I uh, hope you enjoyed your day off, if you had a day off. This is, okay, the unboxing is from Margo, a Vintage Peep. Vintage Peep Show a go go, I believe. Um, oh my goodness, she put some goodies in here. Mmm. Harvest Blessing Bath Salts. Yum, yum. And a little, little ornament. And oh, yum, yum. Some yum, yums. Yum, chocolate. Chocolate is always good. Always good. And then there's a little card. Um, of course, I can't. Oh, here we go. Let's see what this card says. Oh, Knave of Pentacles. And, oh, some more goodies. More goodies. <laughs> and let's see what this is. I kind of remember. Kind of do, kind of don't. Put this box under here. I should have gotten this. Of course, I didn't. The bubble wrap off. Let's see if I could open this without too much noise. So, we had a nice Thanksgiving. Uh, my son came over with his, um, with my granddaughter and her mother and her little brother. Yeah. He's so cute. He's like uh, two and a half years old. He's like the size of a six-year-old. I swear. He's huge. Like he is so stinking cute. So we had, we had a nice time. The weather was perfect. It was in the low 70s. Um, I think it's still in the low 70s today. It might actually be the high 60s, which is a little bit cool for us. But the sun is shining. And uh, it's pretty nice. So we went out rummaging this morning, and uh, it was nippy. I had to wear my my insulated uh, denim jacket, which is nice and warm and toasty. And uh, there wasn't a lot of sales today. And I think usually when there's um, a holiday, there's not too many yard sales. There was a few, but not too many. But um, I'm glad I managed to get a few items. Oh, yes, I think I do remember this. I think this was, um, I think it's a Holt Howard, if I remember correctly. Um, maybe not. Or, um, well, it might be a nap. Well, let's just open it and find out. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's adorable. Oh, my goodness. I was trying to save some of this bubble wrap. I don't know if I did very well. <gasps> this is awesome. There's some um, some peanuts in here I have to dispose of, or I'll reuse these. I don't buy peanuts, but I will use them um, if I get, and these are the, the good ones. These are the biodegradable ones. Oh, this is Lefton. Okay, this is, oh, this is so pretty. Oh, this is adorable. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's got a little elf. Is she a fairy or an elf? She's got one wing. I don't understand that. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Oh, she has two little wings on the side. How stinking cute. And she's winking. Um, somebody had put in here that she's a uh, Lefton White Luster Wear Pixie. Oh, she's adorable. It has a number on the bottom, but look at her. Is she just gorgeous? Oh, I love her. That is so awesome. I'm going to put her in my Christmas display. I'm going to put, um, of course, a bottle of a brush tree in there. And she's going to go in with Christmas. But she could be up all year round. She is so cute. 
Oh my gosh. I just love her. Oh, so thank you, Margo. And I will put Margo's link down below in the description so you can go follow her. She has awesome stuff. She has sales on Fridays. Um, then she does pop-up sales during the week also. Um, she has really great items and great prices. So go ahead and check her out. So let me set this down somewhere safe. I'm gonna set it right there. And then I'm gonna start with the yard sales that I went to today. Just because I, that's what I have out here at the table. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. Something, um, something's making me cough. Uh, they had some, I think this was a mobile home park. We went there yesterday and um, I don't think I really got anything yesterday, but this one lady, um, hers was closed up and she said that she would be open today. So, and I've been there before and she always has some really nice antiques and vintage items. So we went today, we went kind of late, so things were picked over, but I managed to get some cute things. Look at this. This doesn't work that I can figure out. Um, this turns, it's supposed to have different, um, songs. It's supposed to do Pop Goes the Weasel, This Old Man, and The Muffin Man. But I don't know how it's supposed to work. The keys don't really work. They don't work. So, um, but I thought it was a really nice display piece. I can see some little dolls sitting on there. Isn't that cute? So I did get that. It's Fisher Price. And it's from the 60s. I had to get it. I got this old rusty crusty tin. I got two of them. <coughs> Excuse me. This one is nice for Christmas. As I love this little reindeer here. That's my best, my favorite scene. And then it has another deer here. It has a hunter and then it has a rabbit. But my favorite is of course is this little deer. And like I said, it does have some rusty crustiness, but um, still an awesome piece and look really nice in the display of course i wouldn't store anything in there but um that would look really pretty in a christmas christmas vignette i got these poodish nudas from her some little spaghetti pink spaghetti it only has one little pup with it i got that um, I got this box. Well, I got, I thought it was just the box. It actually has the item in it, but I love the box. Look at this. I just love that, the illustration on there. And it says with, um, wireless ice bag with the non losable washer. And the ice bag is actually in here. Um, but I didn't get it for that. I got it for the box. I thought the box was really cool. And it has the actual ice bag in there so isn't that cool it's interesting that must be for um, like headaches and stuff <laughs> you see them in the old movies they have it on top of their head if they were in a fight or something or if they had a headache I got the Santa I don't know how old he is but he was there and I really just like the looks of him he is ceramic so I picked him up there's no marking on the bottom and then um, I got this little tin train. It's pretty old. Um, this old ruler. It's so funny because some of her items were like dirt cheap, like 50 cents, a dollar. And then, because I had a lot of other items I picked up, you know, and because I thought, oh, her prices are good. So I just started grabbing a bunch of things. And then <coughs> I had some really cool ephemera. And she put she wanted like $15 for that, so I had to put that back. I had this really old, cool knife that had, um, it just had like an old scene on it. I can't remember who it was. $35. Had to put that back. And so there was all things I started putting back. Um, I got this old tin, because I love old tins. These look nice in a display or in a tiered tray. And let's see, and this has the product in there too. Um, this is Snowproof, Leather's Best Friend. I don't know how old this is, but it looks pretty old. There's no barcode on it. Um, 
and it actually has the stuff in it. I haven't opened it yet, so it's probably dry, I'm sure. But I thought that was cool. I like the tin. And then um, the last thing I got there was another old rusty crusty tin. And like I said, I love these. I love these for display. Um, and if they're in good con condition, then I do use them. But this one, I don't think I would use it, but it makes a nice riser. Um, let's see if I could read. It has a nice little scene on it. It says, um, the old inn. And this, it says, I think it's Pletcher and Pollock, New York City, bake-in trademark gift can. So this was actually made in New York. A lot of these are made in England. Um, the other tin doesn't say anything on it. So I don't know where this one was made. Yeah. So that was all I got there at that yard sale. And then, like I said, I didn't really get a lot today. There wasn't a lot of yard sales. There was another one, uh, they have it like every Saturday. And sometimes I find things there, sometimes I don't. I did get these German uh, mugs, steins. I love these. Um, we've always had these growing up. Uh, my father was stationed in Germany. And um, we had these, we used to use these for milkshake. They're actually burnt beer, blah, beer steins. But I remember using these for milkshakes, chocolate milkshakes. But uh, I probably still have some of the ones, the original ones, but these I will be selling. These are pretty cool. That was really nice. It's very textured, that, that scene there. And then, um, boy, we're winding down. Oh, I got this little one at a yard sale. I think this is, oh, I got a shelf too. I gotta go get the shelf. I'll grab it. I'm gonna have to stop this and make some room. But look at how cute. It's a little dog and cat in a cup. And this is uh, ceramic or porcelain. Um, it looks like they must have used this. It was glued on something. They must have used it for a, um, what do you call uh, like an assemblage. Um, it says napka wear bone china. I'm gonna have to try to get that stuff off, but oh, that's so cute. That might go in my little, I might have to keep this, I don't know. <laughs> some of the items are for, are for sale, but some are for keeps. Um, that might go, I have those little shells with the little squares and it might go in there. Um, I got this golden book, Rudolph. This is an old one. I have another one like this that has a barcode on it. This does not have any barcode. So this is an older one for sure. Um, let me see the year. Oh, there is a little scribbling in here. Um, 1949. And then there's another printing, which I don't know these Roman numerals, but I have to Google it. This MCM LV3, uh, 111, or III. MCM LV III. And that would be... I don't know. I don't know what that would be, but I'll have to look at it. But um, it's so cute. And I think just this would be like nice in a display for Christmas, for the holidays. So cute. Um, so one of them will be for sale, either this one or the other one I have. I don't know which one yet. I'll have to see which one's in better condition. And I'll probably sell the better condition one. And I also got this little book, and that's for my little... Um, She's, I don't know what to call him. I, I think of him as the grandson. He's my uh, granddaughter's brother. So that's gonna be for him. He loves Daniel Tiger. So that will be for him. And then, uh, let's see what else. Oh, I went to this other sale. Let's see if I can grab this. And look at this. This is uh, Max Factor. It's a little black velvet kitty with pearls and a little perfume bottle. Now these go up to like $40, $50 online. 
Now, the the cloche isn't in the best condition, but, um, but isn't it adorable? That will be for sale, and it won't be $40. It'll be a lot less. Um, so it's coming to a live sale. Probably on one of the Sunday nights at 10 o'clock Eastern on the Chatty Cathy's. Uh, we may be having a name change. Um, we are having some changes on the Chatty Cathy's, and those announcements will be made soon. So that's for that. And then um, we got these little Avon Christmas bottles. I am keeping two and I'm selling one or, yeah, okay, because I don't have these. I don't have the snowman and I don't have the stocking. So those I will be keeping for my collection. And then um, I have a Santa. I actually got two of these, so I will be selling two of these because I have one already in my collection. The other one's taken a little bath because he um, he had cologne in there that has dried up. So he's in soaking in the bath right now, in a bubble bath. Okay, so I think that is it. Wait a minute. I also got two sweaters. This one I got because it is for resale, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to try it on. I don't think it's going to fit me, though. It is a small, but it's, it's handmade. It has reindeer on it. I'm not sure if it's wool. Um, it says it was Finland handmade. I gotta see if there's any stickers. It has these really cool um, closures. They're like metal that you can close. I wish this would fit me. I'll probably keep it, but I think it's gonna be too small. I don't know if it's closed. Um, let me see if I can find out. It doesn't look hand knitted, but it says it's handmade. Oh, it's 100% merino wool. Merino wool. It doesn't feel scratchy, but I'm gonna try this on. Fit this can, I might keep it. I mean, do I really need a wool sweater? It looks big for a small. But anyways, and then I got this Christmas sweater, and this I might have for myself. I thought this would be nice to have a new Christmas, ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> this is big. Now, it's so funny. This doesn't look that big, and this is an extra large. How weird how the sizes go. This is a 2X, but it doesn't seem that big. But look at how cute that is. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'll try them both on and see how it goes. Okay, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to clear up the table and I'm going to bring in what I got yesterday. Okay, then yesterday morning I got a text from this lady saying that she was going to have a yard sale. <clears throat> and this is um, the lady that I buy all my, most of my dolls and toys and my rush dins from. Um, so I'm always hoping she's going to have Russians. Unfortunately, she did not have any, but I did get quite a few things from her and, um, I'll start with the, the dolls and the toys. Um, now a lot of these are not in the best condition, but I felt like I had to rescue them. Like this is, I think this is Elmer Fudd. Uh, he is missing his hat. Uh, he needs a bath and his clothes do need to get washed, but I still picked him up. <laughs> just had to and then um, another one that is really in poor condition but so cute and that's Porky Pig his clothes are dirty and faded of what's left of his clothes at one time he did speak of course he does not anymore it's not work but again I had to get him he's by Mattel um, let me see if there's a date on here. I just can't resist these. And then they sit and they don't sell, but oh well, what do you do? Um, let me see if there's a date on here. Um, Porky Pig, 1964. So he's been around for a while, but I figure somebody could do something with him. He just needs some new clothes and he will be a really cute little guy 
to add to your toy collection. And then um, I got this little bunny and this I might keep. She's pretty old, made in Japan, old Japan. And I just think it's adorable. And I might keep this for my Easter collection. Um, she needs to be cleaned, but she is so cute. And then this doll, oh my gosh. This is Knickerbocker um, Sleepy Head. Um, I don't know why I took my glasses off. Let's read. Let's see, Knickerbocker Toy Company, New York. Sleepy Head, made in USA. And I believe she was from the 60s also. And she's in fairly good condition. Her face is, is not rubber, it's like a it's almost like a silk or some kind of fabric. She's so cute. She has her little bed jacket on. She is adorable. I mean, for being as old as she is, I think she's in excellent condition. And she will be for sale. She is so stinking sweet. <laughs> and then the last of the dolls that I got, I got, ugh, let me grab these. Um, these are interesting dolls too. Now this one, um, she doesn't have any tags, but when I looked her up, um, she was from a museum. I can't remember now what it is. I'll put it in the just. Uh, I'll put it down below here somewhere. Um, I'll look it up again. I want to say it's not. It's not the Smithsonian. Um, gosh, I can't remember now. But. Uh, she is pretty awesome in really good condition. She's all cloth. And then I got these two dolls and these are from the 60s. Oh no, these are from the 70s, I think. I think it was in the 70s. I looked these up and um, look at, they're in excellent condition. The only thing he's missing a shoe. It's the only thing I could see wrong with him. I'm gonna leave the shoe on there because if somebody um, does buy him, they can maybe make another shoe for him. Um, and this one is, says I'm Hap. He looks like he's almost brand new. And I wanna say it was like from, oh, 1979. It says right here, 1979, made in Hong Kong. And it's all cloth. And he, like I said, he's all crispy and like new. And then I have her and she's my hope, I'm Hope. She is Hope. And look at how cute. They're just adorable. So Hope and Hap. <laughs> Those will be for sale. Um, so that was all of those. And then I got this um, miniature, some um, miniature, I can't talk, doll furniture. Dollhouse furniture. I was trying to take this tag off. But I can't get it off. But anyways, um, it's got this one. This one's sealed in the box. So this is new old stock. I don't have this a date on here. I bought these before. 1977. The House of Miniatures. So that will be for sale. And then I got, now these, um, I'm going to probably take them out of the box. I will, I actually, I am going to take them out of the box. The box is in very bad shape. It's dirty and it's um, falling apart. And ugh, it's just gross. But look at the, these. It's Caroline's Home. Barton Toys. These go for quite a bit. Um, I don't know how this glass at all. So dusty. Oh, look at that. Mid-century modern kitchen that is really cool and then um this down right hopefully i don't trip over it and then i got one more and this is really cool too um oops it's a dining room i believe 
So those are going to be for sale. I had to do a little more research on those. Um, and then before I get on to the rest of what I got from her, I also got this today. I forgot. This little cabinet. Um, it has to be cleaned up. Oops, I guess it goes like this. You can hang it or it, gets, it stands. Somebody spray painted it and they did not do a very good job. And of course they painted all over the glass. It looks like they tried to, I don't even think they tried to tape the glass. But, um, oh, I can't get the door open. My husband's got to work on this. But I got that. And that's for me <laughs> to put my little, you know, my little miniatures in there. My little critters. Hopefully I don't trip over that. Okay, what else? Um, I got these, I got a bag full of like little ornaments and things. And one of, uh, there's a bunch of these in there. And they're just little ornaments and they're, um, they look like cruel. They're, they're, they're the same type of yarn that you use for cruel, I believe, but they're not cruel. What they are is they're wound up and they're glued on. But they're so cute. There's a bunch of these. <laughs> So I don't know how I'm going to sell these, but, um, but I thought they were kind of cute. And I have a ton of them. Some are Christmas, some are animals, and um, some are birds. And these are the Christmas ones. So I got a bunch of those. And then I got these little flashcards. So I thought it'd be good to learn Spanish. Um, they're pretty old. Oh, this is weird. This has a nose. That doesn't make sense. It's got a nose and a, it's got a hand. I don't understand these. She had some other ones and they, they had the Spanish word, but it didn't have any pictures to tell you anything. That makes no sense. Why is there a nose? This one makes more sense. But um, I don't know why that one has two different pictures on it. But yeah, I thought those were kind of nice to learn Spanish. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a year on here. Uh, 1959. Wow. These are almost as old as me. <laughs> but that's cool. Um, is. Okay, and then the other things I got from her, I got this little porcelain doll. I love these. I don't think this is super old. It does have a barcode. It was made in China, but I still like it. You know me and my dolls. Um, look at this. I thought, first, I, I walked by this. I didn't really know what it was. Um, it looks like one of those strawberry uh, vases. Or what do they call it? Strawberry pots. These are frogs. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I think that is just awesome. And it was made in Japan. It has a Japan stamp on the bottom. Isn't that just awesome? I love that. So cool. Um, now, I don't know if this was from her. Let me think. This could have been from another sale, but I got this, isn't that cute, a little elephant? Just a single salt and pepper shaker, but I had to get it. This was at another yard sale, this, and also this, and this is so cute. My husband spotted this. Salt and pepper shakers, and they're owls. Isn't that cute? I didn't realize that there were little owls. I had to get that and then back to my my doll lady I call her the doll lady um, I got this reindeer this was in that bag of ornaments oh this is just so precious um, and I think this says Japan I think it was made in Japan pretty sure yep made in Japan so it's on the bottom that's for a keeper for me I love those. It could go, it might go in a, a craft project. 
Um, oh, and then this. Oh shoot! I should go get my. Let me go get my my black light. Okay. So I got this shoe. I don't have this one. I don't know who makes it. It has a bow, and then it has the um, button and daisy pattern on it. But look at this. I don't know if that shows up on the film, but it glows green. Isn't that cool? I don't think I, I don't know if I've ever seen the white ones um, glow green like that. And then I also got this little, I don't know if this is a toothpick holder, slag glass. I love slag glass. <laughs> and this, um, it's hard to see, but it does glow also. The orange part of it really glows. And I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but it glows really nice, the orange. So got that, and then um, this was just a single salt and pepper shaker, but I thought this was really cute to use for the hat pins. I thought that was perfect for that. And then she had this little mirror, and it's, I think it's, um, what you call that? I don't think it's celluloid, but I don't know. Now it does have um, one of the mirror is missing, but I thought that'd be nice to put maybe a picture or something in there. It probably had a magnifying uh, mirror, I'm thinking. And this, um, let's see where it was made. An iris, iris import. Made in West Germany. Wow. Somebody wrote Antique Compact made in West Germany. They were selling it for 15 at one time. I don't know. Is that a magnifying? Nope. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Really pretty. So pick that up. I think a really old picture, vintage picture, would be really pretty in there. Um, and then I got this, I think this was one in one of those bags too. And I opened it up and it's like, oh my gosh, it, I had to fold it back together. This thing must be so stinking long. Um, you could probably cut it and do different things with it. Um, it's like a garland, but this thing goes on forever. <laughs> uh, it looks pretty old. I thought there was a sticker on there somewhere that said, I think it was made in Taiwan. They're little angels. It was really cute. And then I got this jade eye bowl. I almost passed this by. Now it does have a tiny chip somewhere and now I can't find the chip. But I know there was a little chippy. But um, it's a really nice one. I think it's a uh, fire king. But it has a beautiful uh, pattern on the bottom. It did have a lid at one time. Of course, she didn't have the lid. But as, I don't know if you can see the pattern, but it's got a really pretty pattern there. It is jadeite. Just beautiful. And I'm trying to see. I'm, I'm sure. Um, I thought when I picked it up, I said, oh, there's a little chip. I thought my husband could probably sand it down a little bit. But maybe... I don't know, maybe it wasn't a chip. Now I can't feel it, but I'll look again before I sell it. And then a gin bean bottle. This is that, um, oh, what do they call that white? I don't, I don't know if it's called opalescent. So pretty, and it is gin bean. It has like a, a ring of fire in it. I think that's a ring of fire, yes it is. A lot of fire in there <laughs> that is so so pretty Ugh. it's gorgeous and I think that was everything from that sale oh wait a minute <laughs> I also got this <gasps> oh my gosh Phantom of the Opera I had to get him I had to get him so he'll go in the Halloween box. And I think that was all from her. And then the last uh, sale I went to, I got this, look at this, pink gooseberry. This stuff is expensive. I mean, it goes for a lot of money. So 
so. So that will also be for sale. I don't know if I'm gonna sell it at a live sale. I probably won't get what I want for it. I might have to list this on Poshmark, but we'll see. Um, you will definitely get it a good price for it if I do it at a live sale. Um, so we'll see. Anyways, that is everything now. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I should have brought my pad of paper because I'm not sure what sales I have coming up. I know I do have some in the beginning of December. Um, I'm going to have a sale on Thursday. Oh, I wish I would have brought it. Um, but be watching for it. I'm sure I'll have a another haul video before for that. Um, otherwise you can watch on Instagram and on, also on YouTube. I do advertise my live sales. So, um, I'll have to see about that. Uh, Sunday night, the chatty Cathy's is at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, so it's going to be on Sabrina's channel. Simon says, let's make a deal. And our guest is going to be cricket, cricket Harrington. Um, cricket. I don't know if you've watched her, but go follow her. If you haven't go check her out. Um, she has sales on Thursdays. I think her and I, when we, when I have my Thursday sales, we overlap, but she has some awesome, awesome glass items and jewelry. So go check her out for sure. Um, so she'll be on with us on Sunday. So I think basically that is it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Making a comment really helps my channel. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. I'm really trying to get to a thousand. I'm a little over 600. So actually my next goal is, I guess, is 700. But slowly, slowly, I'm trying to inch my way up to a thousand. So thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video.